nothing more than zeros and ones. That's it. That's all it understands. It doesn't matter if you're sharing videos. It doesn't matter if you're sharing images or if you're sharing an article or just a quick little text post. All of that data is converted into zeros and ones. Because of that, certain messages have to be written in certain ways to help, help the search engines understand what you know and the message you're trying to convey. So they can sort your message accordingly. That's the technology aspect of it. Now if we jump over to the people aspect of it, Let's say we're having a conversation with Daniel. Daniel and I meet at a coffee shop, and the way this works is I talk a little, you talk a little, I talk a little, you talk a little. Now, when we're doing this, it's called a conversation. Don't worry, it's just invented. It's really fun, you should try it. When we're sitting down and we're talking, Daniel's gonna get a vibe for me. He's gonna get a feel. He's gonna hear my words, but he's also gonna be able to sense how I'm feeling and if I'm sincere, if I'm insincere, or what else is going on. Technology can't really do that. It can simulate similar ideas of it, but it can't get to that gut feeling. So if we only write messages for technology, then Daniel's not going to want to read it because it's just going to come across as buzzword, 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 and Daniel's going to be like, womp, 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 womp. We don't want to read that. We don't want to be talked at. We want to have a conversation and be talked with. And that's the difference. Social media gives us the opportunity to take conversing with Daniel and conversing with technology to what feel like separate languages and blend them together into one. And when we do that, that's how you generate results. Because the search engines organize the data accordingly, and Daniel wants to read what we're writing. So here's a little tip for you. How many of you, uh, when you are told about a person, you have gone to Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, and typed in their name to learn about? Do you know that every search engine on the market has an agreement with LinkedIn? So every time you type in a name into a search engine, they all search LinkedIn first. LinkedIn learns who you are as a professional and what you know based on your LinkedIn profile. Now if you take this one step further, and remember the purple streamers, everyone that works with Curtis? We know what company Curtis works for. We know what company all of you who had purple streamers work for. That's how you also help build the company brand online. You've probably heard companies say, I want to be on the first page of Google, or I want to be on the first page of the search results. That's great. The best way to do that is through a team approach. You see, let's say you have a small company with not much brand recognition online, but you hire a five-star performer, a five-star employee who's a master in his field, and his online recognition, his ranking is up here. It's gonna boost the company ranking. Now on the flip side, let's say you're a large company and your online reputation is up here from the search engine perspective. It doesn't matter who you hire, those, those employees, all of their rankings are gonna go up. It works together. It's not just about doing this one thing to boost your online visibility. It's about doing multiple things and taking a team approach. It's not about setting someone in the corner and saying, you just go do this. When you make it a team effort and you educate everybody, you minimize the fear and you make it easier for companies and people to embrace and adopt and find the information that they're looking for. So speaking of finding information, let's talk about hashtags. Hashtags are this beloved symbol over here, and there's a podium behind me. 
that help, help you find the information you're looking for. Hashtags are visible. Keywords are behind the scenes. Keywords are how you set up your website so you tell the search engines, so you're talking tech, you're telling the search engines, these are the keywords that are important to my company, to my brand, to my reputation, or my expertise. But it's all behind the scenes. You don't really see it. Hashtags, are, on the other hand, are very visible. You particularly see them on Twitter, and you see them on, um, you see them on most platforms, but they're also really popular on Instagram. It's a hashtag and then a word or a couple of words. It helps sort the content. If you take a hashtag and you click on it, magically all of the content that you don't want is filtered out and all of the content you do see is based specifically on that one particular hashtag. It's helping you find the needle in the haystack. And that's what we want. We don't want the noise. We don't care what people have had for dinner. We don't care what's making people upset. We care about certain specific information. And that's what hashtags help you do. So if you're searching for information online, I know this is a busy slide and I apologize. You're welcome to take a uh, picture of it and use it for reference later. Here are some simple tips to help you find the information that you are looking for faster. So you can spend less time and you don't have to worry about running across as many squirrels they're taking you away from what you're actually trying to do. If you're going to a search engine to look for something specific, you can put that search term or terms in quotes. And what you're telling them is, I want to know this exact information, this exact phrase. I do not want anything else. I only want results based on this. That's what you're telling the search engine. You're talking tech talk. If you use the plus sign, so you'll have term A, space, plus sign, space, term B, what you're telling the search engines is I want this term in conjunction with this term. Show me how these two words go together. And then those are the results you'll receive. And then the third tip is let's say your daughter has to write a report on the Seahawks, but not the sports team. She actually has to write a report about the bird. So what you would do here is you would type in Seahawks space minus sign football. And there's notice there's no space between the minus sign and football. And what this does is it tells the search engines that I want information about Seahawks but nothing related to football. And so the results will correspond. Now, in its most simplest form, every social media platform is a search engine. So generally, these rules apply for each of the different platforms. Now, there are a few nuances to help you understand how you're searching for content and clicking on a hashtag in any social platform will immediately eliminate all of the other noise and only show you results related to that. So remember, Facebook is a community-oriented platform, so it searches people first. And that's fine. You can click on a tab and search for businesses or you can search for uh, whatever, it el whatever else you may be looking for. Twitter, uh, primarily using hashtags, it is also a search engine. YouTube, everything that works on a regular search engine works in YouTube because Google owns it. Another great tip with YouTube is if you go to the search bar and you start typing in your keyword or what you're interested in, you'll notice that a drop-down box appears with, a, with phrases of what Google thinks you might be looking for. And where this is valuable is in when you're creating your content. Google is telling you that people are searching for this exact phrase. This is fabulous for creating videos. This is fabulous for creating blog posts. This is fabulous for putting your strategy together
because you're able to articulate your message in a way that your audience wants to receive it. And then also LinkedIn. Using LinkedIn, the advanced search allows you to target more than just a general search, but say, I want people who are in this area with this experience. So remember to use the advanced search to get really hyper-focused on the professional experience that you're looking for. 